Okay, so I'm basing my eyes using um, Colourpop Concealer as my uh, primer for my shadows. It just makes everything pop, locks the colors in place, makes it more vibrant and everything like that. And I'm um, evening it out so I have a very even um, distribution of the Colourpop Concealer all over my eyes. I set that with some translucent powder and I'm using some to also catch any fallout that may occur because I did my base off camera. And I'm using my James Shaw's and Morphe palette and I'm starting with this lavender color. I'm using my M441 blending brush. This brush is just going to help me to diffuse the color. It wouldn't pack it on too much. It's just going to diffuse it really nice and give me a nice transition color and create really nice gradient to, for the other colors that I'm about to place down. Now I'm using a deeper purple from the James Shaw's palette. It's called Escape. And I'm using a 433 brush. This one is flatter and denser, but still gives me the ability to blend. So I'm really, really packing it on because I want it to be very vibrant. And then I'm blending it underneath the first color that I placed down, going back and forth with the two brushes. Now I'm going to cut the crease and I'm using the same ColourPop concealer and a very flat concealer brush, something very small. And this takes time, you guys. There's no way around it. It takes time and patience. So be very careful. Now I'm taking a very small um, definer brush and I'm applying white from the James Charles palette as well as a white color. And I'm applying it on the inner corners of my eyes and being very neat and precise um, when it comes to the actual cut crease that I created. And I'm using my finger with a purple shimmer and applying it closest to the outer corners of my eyes and blend it with my finger. I just applied really nice with my finger. I'm popping on some Kiss number 7 lashes. I'm looking down in the mirror make sure your glue is tacky and then you apply your lashes and adjust as you see fit I love that eye look I added some white uh, not really white some of a beigey color in my waterline uh, I'm using that same purple underneath with a flatter denser um, definer brush and I'm gonna buff it off a little bit with a uh, a smaller definer brush like this one that I'm using and just to blend it out so that it's more diffused then I'm just gonna complete my face use my Maybelline master chrome and Go molten gold as my highlight as my first highlight Then I'm using this Carly Bible color um, palette with this sort of lavender color and just adding it to the pops to the, um, the tops of my cheek just for I feel like it creates some more uniformity with the purple eyes. I also applied it to the inner corners of my eyes, my cupid's bow and my nose. It just creates the illusion of a slimmer nose. And you can find that color from any other brand because I know they discontinued the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm using my newest mascara from Colourpop and I love it so far. It really made my bottom lashes pop. Going in with BFF3 lip liner from Colourpop again. And ooh, <laughs> from Colourpop. <laughs> and I'm applying that all over my lips. I love this color. If you haven't seen my top favorite uh, nude lips, I'll link it so you can watch it. And I'm applying some gloss, some Fenty Beauty gloss over top and that's a completed look. So this is my second look in my rainbow series um, using purple again. And we have another one coming and we'll choose another color and we'll move from there. So thank you so much for watching. Hi, I'm Rich. Please subscribe, comment, share, like all the good stuff. Everything I use will be in the description box. Follow me on my social medias, how to book me, everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday. Bye guys.